Hey, yo, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the channel, man. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Make sure you share this video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you do all three. Hey, man, I just got thousands of DMs. You guys are all in my DMs talking about explain how Key Glock actually met Young Dove because Fable Gold literally commented on all my videos talking about how him and Key Glock used to be best friends. So let me break down the whole thing. We just got off the phone with Fabo Go, everybody in Memphis. Hey, I want you guys to comment down below if you rocking with Young Dolph. I'm rocking with Young Dolph. It's Dolph Land, man. If you rock, if you with PRE, let me know what city you at, man. Stand up. So look, guys. Fabo Gold is Fabo, not Fabo. It's Fabo, okay? Fabo Gold is the one who actually is the only person that actually knows Dolph. In that whole entire city of Memphis. So back, this is this is like a year, couple years ago, a few years ago, before Key Glock was ever a thing. Key Glock was still running around with uh, MTZ and, and Trula and all of them, okay? So when Key Glock was, uh, was actually a Trula member, he was MTZ's assistant, okay? He had to ride with him and do everything, all the dirty work for him. Well, guess what? Key Glock and Fabo Gold actually grew up as friends. They were around the same age. They hung around each other. When they were outside sitting on the porch, they could see each other. That's how close they live, guys. So they live really close to each other in the same hood. And anybody knows that growing up in the hood, you hang around your own hood. You're not going to go looking for trouble in some other hood. Like, primarily, you're in your main hood. And Key Glock just happened to move in the neighborhood with his grandma. And so, at that time, Fabo Gold seen, you know, kids that were picking on Key Glock because he was new to the area. And they were really pressing him, telling him that, you know, if he, he must be in the wrong neighborhood because nobody had ever seen him before. And so... They was about to kick sand in Key Glock face and Fabo Gold came and actually told the kids to stop it because they had more respect for Fabo Gold than they had for Key Glock. So just from Fabo Gold, just being who he is, he saved Key Glock from a beat down and possibly, you know, changing the course of his life forever. If Key Glock would have got bullied that day and, and they would have beat him up and kicked the sand in his face, he would have turned emo. He would have been never been the same he would have never rapped he probably would have you know tried to get revenge and it would have been a short one for him so moving forward key glock introduced i mean fable gold tell key glock you know you should think about some hobbies music he's like i do music i don't know about you so he took him and showed him how music was done he took him to his like makeshift studio they had access to a little computer that fable gold was supposed to use for school and homework and stuff like that and like printing out like just you know like regular paperwork he had to go sign a permission slip right so they actually jumped on the computer and they was using a free little thing online to like get the beats and record and everything from and so it was at that moment that Fabo had introduced Key Glock to this. And then uh, Key Glock, he already had a lot of, um, he had a diary full of stuff he wrote down. So he just spilled his emotions out on the beat. And next thing you know, Fabo Go realized that Key Glock was going to be something in the music game. At least he was more decent than, you know, Moneybag Yo, who literally stole a, another man's entire song and then stole another man from New York's entire name. So he's like, at least Key Glock ain't doing that. So he, he could go far, further than Moneybag Yo. So then at that time, that's when actually Fable Gold was like, all right, I'm going to introduce you to somebody special. He might be able to sign you. And he's the real boss man when it comes to this music independent stuff. He's going to show you how to do it without having to get signed by Yo Gotti. Because at that time, Trula and CMG had a thing going on to where Key Glock would not have been able to go sign with Yo Gotti, even though he was hanging around Moneybag Yo. But, it, but Fable Gold said, hey... Let me call somebody up. They went to go link up with Young Dolph. Fable Gold was actually the only person out of anybody that's in a PRE camp that actually knew Dolph before PRE started, okay? So now, Key Glock, 
he 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 was very nervous because he didn't he never met somebody this rich before. He never met somebody this successful. But Fable Gold knew what he was doing. He brought Keglock to Young Dolph and said to Young Dolph, "Hey, I want you to meet this person, Keglock, whose real name is like Kavarius or something like that." And so what happened is that Dolph really at first was like, who's this guy, man? He thought Key Glock was a joke, really, because to young Dolph, Key Glock is a complete stranger. Young Dolph doesn't actually know Key Glock, and Key Glock doesn't actually know young Dolph. That's why he backdoored him. Y'all got to understand, young Dolph is somebody Key Glock met through Fable Gold. So Key Glock ain't going, when Fable Gold ended up getting locked up, and Key Glock went under Dolph wing. Dolph only took Key Glock under his wing because Fable's last only request before he got locked up was to take care of this man so that when Fable got out, at least Dolph and Key Glock are both going to be there on his side, able to help him. And if they teamed up together, then it's like 100% sure that when Fable gets out that he's going to go and sign with Dolph and join alongside Key Glock, even though... He let Key Glock start his career early, knowing damn well that Fable was trying to be the one who got signed. But the fact that he found the talent he wanted to show Dolph and because of the situation Fable was in where he had to go get locked up, it was Key Glock that was the one who got all the attention from Dolph. He was like, man, Fable, I really wanted to sign you and put you on the album and everything like that, but you about to be locked up and... The studio sesh is not going to be booked until after you go and actually start serving your time. So they never got a chance to make the recording because they would have had the biggest hit in in the whole Memphis summer if it would have came out like today. So basically, Young Dolph looked at Key Glock as a risk. He's like, man, I don't trust this guy. He look weird. He keep looking weird. He's too quiet and everything. So, But he was like, man, but I'm going to trust the... I'm a trust Fabo goals intuition. He got good intentions. He would never do me wrong like that. And, you know, that's exactly what it was. It's like Key Glock didn't do nothing crazy off the bat. He just knew that he was going to snake him in the long run because when Fabo Gold ended up getting out, Key Glock had snaked Fabo Gold. He bit the hand that had fed him. Key Glock told Young Dolph. That while Fable Gold was locked up, that he was messing with the ops behind bars and that it was too too much of a um, you know, a, a thing of a risk to let somebody who'd been hanging around the ops be in the pen be coming back into the young Dolph circle. So Key Glock basically manipulated Dolph and Fable Gold into not talking to each other no more. Dolph got a new number and Key Glock wouldn't give Fable Gold Dolph's new number and uh, Key Glock will only talk to Fable off of FaceTime. He never wanted to link up in person or anything like that because he knew that he would have had to catch the fade for messing up the whole business between Key G uh, between Fable Gold and Young Dolph. Like they literally was going to do a mixtape with Key Glock, but the fact that Fable Gold was locked up, that's when Key Glock came and did the the Dumb and Dumber. That was supposed to be the the major like work that Fable Gold was supposed to be on that. It wasn't even supposed to be called Dumb and Dumber. It was actually supposed to be, it was, it was more of a, um, a message towards smart and smarter or like smart and genius, you know? And so that's where everything took a turn to a whole different course of what ended up happening on November 17th. Okay. So Key Glock knew that, no matter what, he had to keep Fable Gold away from Young Dolph. So he got them into feuding and actually got Fable Gold tied up with the ops, saying that he was hanging with the ops when it's 100% fact that Fable Gold never was an op. Key Glock was the real op because he was the one hanging with Trula, and Trula was the one who turned their back on Dolph when he tried to sign Jay. You following me? This is 100% facts receipts, man. You can ask... Fable Gold yourself. So now, moving forward, Fable Gold never got to link up with Dolph again because Key Glock had been in Dolph's head so much that he was convincing Dolph to fly out and do shows in certain weekends that Fable Gold was trying to make it out to 
the same areas and the same businesses and, and stuff. Like, Fable Gold was going to pop up with Grove Hero to go see Young Dolph, but Key Glock got a hurt, had a heard word of that ahead of time and had told Dolph to go fly with Big Moochie Great to New York to do that shoot. That's when Fable Gold was really trying to warn Dolph of all the backdoor rumors that were going around the camp. Like at that time, uh, Fable Gold was, you know, with third parties with unbiased people, people who were not picking sides because they were really just with Dolph. And that's the same way. We're not, I'm not picking sides. I'm just with Dolph. So like I said, at the end of the day, he tried to warn, but he couldn't get close to Dolph again because Key Glock had already put in Dolph's head that Fable was hanging with the ops now when it was the whole other way around. It was really Key Glock who was behind closed doors hanging with Moneybag Yo and telling him, where Dolph was going to stay at, what hotels, what airline, everything like that, and really dropping the low. So look, guys, subscribe to the channel, like this video, share this video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you do all of the above. I want you to comment down below if you're rocking with Young Dolph, because I'm rocking with Young Dolph. So comment down below. Let us know if you agree or disagree, and tune in for the next video, because it's going to be breaking news, and I'm going to see you on that one.